Welcome to our Sterling Council celebration for the 2020 Governor Sterling Award and Georgia Oglethorpe Award recipients. My name is Dion Geiger, President of the Florida Sterling Council, and with me is John Piano, Chairman Emeritus of the Council, and Dave Falkenberry, current Chairman. We are excited to recognize these three mole model organizations today through this virtual broadcast. Over the past several months, our state and nation have been facing a real health crisis with COVID-19. But in spite of these circumstances, we are determined to create this opportunity to showcase and celebrate what makes our states of Florida and Georgia so special. Our 2020 role model organizations. John. Thank you. Today we're gonna to start by recognizing over 150 members of the Sterling Board of Examiners. These examiners are from across all sectors and represent five states and have contributed thousands of hours to our ability to recognize these three organizations today. I would like to call out two special examiners, Sarah Morrison, who has served for 25 years, and Bob Medeiros, who has served for 20 years. They have earned these special milestones. To Sarah, Bob, and all of our examiners, thank you for your contributions and service for driving performance excellence. And thank you also to our Sterling panel of judges for their hard work and dedication in determining and recommending our role model organizations. We truly appreciate your commitment to excellence in the state of Florida and Georgia. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, John. Finally, thank you to our Sterling Board of Directors for your commitment to the mission of the Florida Sterling Council to elevate organizational performance excellence and also by supporting us in our quest to recognize these organizations today. We would also like to acknowledge the governor's office who for the past 28 years has supported this recognition. Thank you. We will be recognizing three role model organizations today we will start with our first organization from the state of Georgia, Wellstar Kennestone Hospital. Wellstar Kennestone Hospital is a nonprofit academic tertiary care center located in Marietta, Georgia, and, a, and part of the nationally recognized nonprofit Wellstar Health System. The system includes 11 hospitals, 15 urgent care centers, 28 imaging centers, five health parks, and more than 2,600 physicians throughout the state of Georgia. In 2006, the facility became the first in Georgia to introduce the advanced treatment of cancer through leading technology using CyberKnife robotic radiosurgery. Multiple expansions added services and capabilities with completion of the last tower in 2013, currently operating 633 beds. Emergency services include a level two trauma center and a pediatric emergency department. Inpatient services include cardiovascular, cardiopulmonary, intensive care, neuroscience, oncology, and orthopedics. Outpatient services include cardiovascular, cardiopulmonary, women's services, and imaging services. The organization has established a core competency of a culture of compassionate caring which is demonstrated through a sustained world-class performance for patient rounding. For example, the hospital improved the process of discussing the patient plan of care by moving it inside the patient's room so that the patient and the family could participate in the plan of care conversations. The hospital has consistently demonstrated sustained high levels of performance that exceed relevant comparisons and measure of its core competencies patient, safety, and financial and market performance. Mortality rate, a measure of patient safety, demonstrates high performance compared to the top 25% of the hospitals across the nation. Central line associated bloodstream infections demonstrate a positive trend from 2017 to 2019, all well below the National Healthcare Safety Network benchmark. The percent of operating margin has favorably increased from 2017 to 2019 
exceeding the S&P benchmark, sustaining the systems bond rating at an A2 rating from Moody's and an A rating from S&P for 2016 through 2019. For the last 70 years, the hospital has been a pinnacle in the Marietta community. From 2017 to 19, their community outreach efforts resulted in 11,032 events and 661,595 participants. In 2019, the hospital held 3,804 events with more than 226,000 participants. Wellstar Kennestone Hospital is a first time recipient of the Georgia Oglethorpe Award. Now, let's take a few moments to see what makes Wellstar Kennestone Hospital so special. Every day at Wellstar Kennestone, thousands of employees show up doing the right thing for the right reasons. Consistent with our brand, here at Wellstar Kennestone, people care. Having the opportunity to share what our teams do every day, both locally, state, and nationally, is an honor. We know that it is not an easy feat. When we show up at work, we focus on process improvement, quality, our workforce, and we know that that delivers great outcomes. This is just what we do every day, but having the opportunity to be recognized by the GSA confirms what we already know. We have an amazing team, and on behalf of that amazing team, thank you for the recognition, and we look forward to collaborating in the future. Now to accept the award, on behalf of Wellstar Kennestone Hospital, we would like to recognize Mary Chapman, President, Wellstar Kennestone Hospital, Windy Hill Hospital, and Senior Vice President, Wellstar Health System. Accepting this award on behalf of Wellstar, and more specifically, Kennestone Hospital, is a testament to the amazing work that our team leaders, our team members, our community partners have accomplished over time. People care here, and we demonstrate that on a day-to-day -day basis. Being able to partner with the Oglethorpe Award has really, truly given us the opportunity to learn such amazing things about ourselves. We look forward to collaborating in the future, and we are still on the journey. And now for our second award, let me introduce Dave Falkenberry, Chairman of the Florida Sterling Council. Dave? Thank you, Dion. USF Federal Credit Union is a full-service financial institution headquartered in Tampa, Florida, with more than 60,000 members. The credit Union is a member-owned, not-for-profit financial cooperative established in 1959. It serves the financial needs of faculty, staff, and thousands of students at the University of South Florida. Since 1990, it expanded to also include employee groups in healthcare and education. It currently serves over 40 employee groups, including Tampa General Hospital. In 2015, the credit union created two more unique divisions, Darden Credit Union and Red Lobster Credit Union. USF FCU participates in shared branching across the country with more than 5,000 shared branches. USF Federal Credit Union consistently demonstrates sustained high levels of performance that exceed relevant comparisons and measures of its core competencies, including financial stability and expense control, workforce management, and competing in a rapidly changing technological environment. The credit union sustained a net worth ratio of over 10% for 2015 to 2019, exceeding the National Credit Union Administration, NCUA, wealth capitalized benchmark of 7%. It increased its return on average assets from 0.59% in 2015 to 1.22% in 2019 surpassing the NCUA peer group average of 0.82 and an all Florida average of 0.84 in 2019. Overall employee engagement increased from 54% in 2014 to 85% in 2019, exceeding the Mercer Group 
global top quartile benchmark of 83% in 2019. Competing in a rapidly changing technological environment, credit unions' active online banking users increased from 44% in 2017 to 84.9% in 2019, surpassing the Radden Financial Peer Group average of 73.6 in 2019. Additionally, active mobile banking users increased from 28% in 2017 to 52% in 2019, exceeding the Cornerstone Credit Union League industry average of 49% in 2019. Credit unions' leadership and employees actively support, identify, and strengthen its key communities and determine areas of focus for involvement. Notable achievements include contributing over $35,000 in hurricane assistance to victims of Hurricane Michael, second only to a much larger similar institution. The USF Federal Credit Union is a first time recipient of the Governor's Sterling Award. Now let's take a few minutes to acknowledge the University of South Florida Federal Credit Union. Teamwork happens in many places, on the football field, in the classroom, on mountaintops, and on playgrounds. But here at USF Federal Credit Union, you might say we have a sterling reputation for teamwork. Teamwork is at the heart and soul of our organization and is ingrained in our core values. We take a team approach to almost every project we launch. And when we hire for positions, we use values-based interviewing techniques to be sure the people we hire are an excellent fit for our credit union. That's especially important as USF Federal Credit Union continues to grow. The credit union was founded in 1959 with just 16 members and $505 in assets. Today, USF FCU has more than 60,000 members and $800 million in assets. As the credit union grew, we realized we needed to constantly improve the way we do business to meet our members' needs. You know, when we adopted the Sterling criteria four years ago, uh, one of our goals was to knock down silos and build bridges among departments. And since then, we've developed an operational rhythm that includes collaboration and continuous improvement cycles throughout the credit union. We've completed dozens of projects to improve our member experience these things don't just happen. It takes leadership. It takes ongoing leadership and a commitment to improve, improve, and improve. And that's what we do at the credit union. It's a constant state of our mindset to make our credit union stronger for each other and for our members. Earning the Florida Governor's Sterling Award for Performance Excellence validates that hard work. I feel like we have such a great culture here of teamwork, putting our members and our community first, and I think it's awesome and that it's well-deserved. It felt awesome uh, to be part of a team that was able to get everything accomplished. It just shows all the effort that, um, that was put in from senior management all the way down to frontline staff. Um, the thing that I like best about the culture here is just the teamwork that goes on at every level um, between departments to get whatever needs to happen for our members. Um, done and deliver the products and services that our members deserve and love. Yes, it's all about teamwork. Now to accept this award on behalf of the University of South Florida Federal Credit Union is Richard Skaggs, Chief Executive Officer. Richard. On behalf of our volunteers who embraced our vision, on behalf of our leadership team who have remained committed to our vision, and to our staff who have shown a passion in the delivery of our mission, I accept this award. I would like to recognize the Sterling Council for the prestigious award that they have given to the credit union in recognizing our hard work and our journey that we've been on, and to our 165 employees. Wow, you did it. 
Look at this award. This is for you. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for the journey as we continue to embrace performance excellence in our organization. Now for our final award, Pinellas County Tax Collector. The Pinellas County Tax Collector, headquartered in Clearwater, Florida, has 281 employees who provide services to residents from seven locations throughout Pinellas County. Total collections are approximately $2 billion annually in taxes and fees, which are distributed among 67 taxing authorities. The tax collector also provides services for motor vehicle titles and registrations, driver's license, concealed weapons license, and birth certificates. The Pinellas County Tax Collector demonstrates excellent performance levels in the areas of customer service, process effectiveness and efficiency, workforce engagement and governance, and financial management. Customer satisfaction for walk-in customers was rated 98.6% in fiscal year 2019. Overall workforce satisfaction achieved 90% in fiscal year 2019. Annual expenditures have remained below budget for fiscal years 2016 through 2019. Finally, the annual external audit resulted in zero findings in fiscal years 2016 through 2019, including zero recommendations from external auditors. The Pinellas County Tax Collector is the first tax collector in Florida to be recognized three times as a Sterling Role Model Organization, including being a recipient of the Governor Sterling Award in 2013 and recipient of the Governor Sterling Sustained Excellence Award in 2016. Now, let's take a moment to see why the Pinellas County Tax Collector is a three-time recipient. At the Pinellas County Tax Collector Organization, our growth and commitment to excellence all starts with the voice of our customers. Our leadership focus is demonstrated through our vision. Serving the citizens of Pinellas is at the heart of our mission. Our culture of ongoing improvement is integrated in everything we do. Our staff is driven to deliver superior customer service in an ethical and efficient manner. Collection and distribution of taxes is not just our requirement, but our privilege. Winning the Governor's Sterling Award means much more to us than being recognized as a role model organization. It validates our commitment to an organizational management system which guides our dedication to process improvements, systematic repeatable best practices, and use of data to make informed and strategic decisions in our commitment to be better tomorrow than we are today. We work hard to exceed the expectations of our citizens in everything that we do and we're proud to serve in the place where most people vacation. I would like to thank Governor Rod DeSantis, Lieutenant Governor Jeanette Nunez, and the entire Governor Sterling Council for this honor. I especially want to thank all 265 hardworking people on my staff, whose ongoing dedication and commitment to service continuously pushes the bar higher, ensuring we always meet and exceed our vision customer-focused excellence. Now, to accept this award on behalf of the Pinellas County Tax Collector is Charles Thomas, Pinellas County Tax Collector. I am so honored to accept this award on behalf of the entire Pinellas County Tax Collector Organization. 
My team has worked so hard to achieve this award and they do a fantastic job for the citizens of Pinellas County. Thank you, the Governor Sterling and Council for this prestigious honor. Thank you for helping us to honor these three special organizations from Florida and Georgia. It was a pleasure to be able to bring this recognition to you via this virtual program. We look forward to continuing to work with you as we move forward into our 2021 assessment cycle and wish all of you well as we continue to stay safe and move forward as we support performance excellence. We are Sterling. Thank you and have a good day.